What's going on, YouTube? Matt from Garage MC here. Long time no see, guys. Uh, for any of you guys that uh, dropped comments wondering where I was at, appreciate the concern. Everything's cool. Just had a bunch of little stuff I had to take care of. Plus, kind of needed a break. Um, here's what's going on right now. Stay tuned. Let's talk about a couple things, and then uh, we'll get into what we're doing in this video shortly. So, don't go nowhere. All right. So... First things first, a couple updates, guys. The ATC 250R, got that thing running, looks great. Um, I didn't touch anything internally on that engine. We put the carb on it, exhaust, new reeds, plastics, you know, a bunch of new, like, a bunch of new stuff. Got it to where it's looking the way I want it to look for now as a rider, because that's what it is. It's a rider. We're not just sticking this thing in the shed and just saying, oh, we have a 250R. No, we're going to ride the damn thing. Um... Took it for a ride yesterday to shake it down and come back and check all the bolts. Um, yeah, blew it up. So, you know, um, my brother's back in town, so he rode it with me, and it's it was making a, a noise that it shouldn't make. Like, um, my brother's opinion on it was somebody had honed the cylinder out maybe a little bit too much. So, yeah, um, going to need to order a top end for that now, but, you know, that's okay. So... I'm not mad at it. It is what it is. If it's something that needs to be done, it needs to be done. That's just the way it is. 465 update. So, um, a couple of you guys know that I've talked to back and forth in the comments section, which, guys, I read and answer all my comments. So, jump on in there, man. I read them all, and I answer them all. I don't just hit you guys with a thumbs up. I actually interact with you. So, if you're new to the channel, and you don't know that yet, yes. I read and answer every comment personally. Um, I do this all by myself. There's nobody here helping me. You know, editing, filming, all the work that's done, everything. So jump on down there. Um, if you're new to the channel, go down there, write where you're from, and what do you ride? You know, I like to know those type of things. Anyway, so the 465. Missing the swing arm. I want to get this thing into a roller, but I'm running out of time. Um, the swing arm I had sent out for powder coat, it is lost in shipment. So... I'm kind of screwed at the moment and out of a few dollars. Um, yes, you get insurance when you ship stuff, but nowhere near what it cost, even for just the powder coating that I was getting done. Uh, I should have just painted it like I normally do, but I, I don't know. I wanted to have it powder coated, so that's the route I went, you know? So it is what it is. Anyway, the 465 is on hold now. Um, can't really get it into a roller without a swing arm. Um, might just... Uh, paint a OEM one just to get it on all four wheels so that we can move it around because it's kind of in my way but we also I have a customer build that I have to do so my stuff has to go you know not put on the back burner but you know kind of like in the in the center on the warming plate if you will so you know customers come before I do so that's just the way it is um, in this video though what I want to do is I want to talk to you guys I need your guys' help with this I, I, I don't know these these Raptors like this some of you guys may I don't really know it. I know they have a ton of electrical problems and their ship boxes. Other than that, <laughs> I don't really know what much else. So stick around. Let me show you guys where we're at, and then I'll tell you. Uh, I'll actually put it back together real quick and show you guys what it's doing under power. All right, guys. So here's the Raptor. Let me give you a little, a little uh, oversight of what this thing's doing. All right. Um, I know you know people get that that bogging thing from the park and brake and all that stuff. All that's already been disconnected. Uh, I don't know what these two wires here are. Let me get you guys a couple a look at the color here. Um, I believe these are for the, the micro switch on the clutch, and this is for the parking brake. The parking brake is good as it is. Um, that's the green and yellow wire in there, if you guys can... It's this wire here. It's, it's green and yellow. So I already ran a multimeter on it. Comes back to this green and white wire. Most people say just cut that, and then that's good as it is. And then also, this green and white wire is supposed to be ran to ground. Um, somebody had already done that before me. There's a lot of shoddy uh, wire repairs on this, but this is this yellow and or green and white wire that runs back to here. Um, if you look on the floor here, you can see green tape. I know it looks like electrical tape, but it's not electrical tape. That's green PVC tape. It was over all these wires. All these wires were frayed. So last night I depinned all of these um, <clears throat> uh, connectors here and redid everything and soldered stuff and shrink wrapped everything and cleaned up the connections. Like some of these in the solenoid were pretty corroded. But um, what the quad is doing, 
I'll get it to fire up and it'll sit there and idle till next year if you want it to, or obviously till it runs out of gas. But as soon as you go to put it in gear and take off, it'll go a few feet and then it falls on its face and shuts off. If I rev the ever loving hell out of it, I can get it to run around the yard. But that's it. So I'm going to just place the rear plastics on there, put the battery and the CDI back in it, and um, the seat and the gas tank. And I'll set you guys up on the tripod and I'll show you guys what it's doing. Or uh, actually, no, I'll just put you guys on the helmet mount and show you guys what's going on. So in this video, you know, pretty much asking you guys to just diagnose this with me. Um, you know, no, no answers, a stupid answer. I'm not gonna look at it like that. Uh, it, it could be the carbs. You know, you have two carbs on this thing. One of them, I believe, is for the, like, the idling and the right side carb, don't quote me, um, is for, like, under power. I have another set of carbs here. Um, did the rebuild kit on it. I didn't film that because I don't, uh, I'm not an authority when it comes to rebuilding carburetors, and I don't like to put stuff out if it's not something that I know exactly what I'm doing. So, you know, we just went ahead and took care of that last night. Uh, these are Chinese carbs on here, so my next move would be to take these carbs off and then clean them and see where that gets us. Um, pretty intricate thing to take the carbs off of here from, from what I hear. Um, you know, some things that are hard for other people, you know, might not be hard for me or you or vice versa. You know what I mean? So, um, I, I'd like to try a couple other things before I do that. So... Let me set you guys up. Let me throw the plastics and the battery and CDI back on this thing, and I'll show you guys what this thing's doing. All right, guys. So I got the plastics back on and everything, and as you can see, I'm not touching the throttle, and neither is anybody else, and it's just sitting there idling. Yeah, it's got a little uh, little engine noise or something's loose on it, like the skid plate or something. Uh, didn't really get into it too much as far as mechanically, but let me throw you guys on the helmet mount and uh, I'll show you guys what this thing's doing um, when I go to uh, ride it and uh, let's figure this one out together. Alright guys, so just bear with me here. Let me put this helmet on, even though I'm only in the friggin' yard, but you know, safety, uh, you know, safety. So this thing where we can go all right so I'll go ahead and fire this peg up okay well, I'm gonna turn the key on that might help all right so as you can see it'll it doesn't do the, the raptor bogging thing it'll idle all day it's got a little bit of a hanky idle but you know more to point to the cars are dirty. All right, so now we're in first. That's what it keeps doing. But if I give it a ton of gas, I won't start unless it's in neutral. Bear with me here, guys. If I rev the shit out of it, it'll go. It won't let me it won't let me go if I try to go easy on it so okay now it's making me a liar that just pisses me off see there it goes again all right so let's see if we can get it to do it one more time here so you guys can get a good good listen on this thing here oh yeah back in neutral because Yamaha Like I said, guys, if I keep revving the shit out of it, it'll let me, it'll let me ride it. But you can't, you just can't take off easily with it, which kind of sucks. Let me take you guys off here real quick. All right, so you guys down in the comment section, let me know what you guys think about this, man. Uh, am I the only one that's come across this problem? Yeah, it's probably the carburetors. Um, that's exactly what I'm going to do next. But uh, this is, uh, instead of me pulling the carbs off in this video and all that stuff, like I said, guys, I'm not going to do a how-to on how to pull and clean the carbs on this thing because 
I, I'm going to be figuring it out as I go. You know what I mean? So I'm not going to make a video on something you could figure out as you go yourself. You know, not just on here just trying to get views. It's not what it is. It's just a hobby. So, um, anyway, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. I'm going to strip this thing back down. Uh, the video's not over yet. I'll talk about a couple other things, and then I'll piece you guys out. And I'll start making the uh, next video, because we got a lot of catching up to do. I'm going nowhere yet. All right, guys. So, before you start you know, brainstorming what this could possibly be. I'm pretty sure, man, it's probably the carbs, you know, uh, the, the way of like how I described to you, it would sit there and idle until you start to go. Uh, my first thought was maybe the pet cock in the gas tank is clogged because it's getting enough fuel flow for it to idle. But when you go to drive, it wasn't getting enough gas. So it would shut off because it wasn't going to the bowls fast enough. I already tested that the pet cock is flowing perfectly fine. Um, so yeah, I'm going to pull this thing back in the garage. I'm going to take the carbs off of it. I'm going to blow them out, you know, make sure all the jets are clean. Um, I know these carburetors um, with the two carbs there, one's actually different from the other. Like, the bodies are the same, 95% of it. Uh, one has, like, the regular main jet. One has a pilot. The other one doesn't. It's like a weird setup. I don't know why Yamaha even did this. Um, probably was cheaper to produce two smaller carbs instead of one large carb. Um, maybe for power delivery. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm not a friggin' uh, Yamaha um, technician or any of that shit designer, whatever you want to call it. So, um, anyway, and the rest of this video, let's, uh, let me tell you guys what's going on. So, yeah, I know it sucks. The 465 has got to get put to the side for a minute. Um, like I said, I have a customer quad that I have to build. Um, actually, while we're talking about that, I'm not going to be taking on any other customer builds for a little while uh, because it's putting my stuff to the wayside. Um, yeah, we could probably slap a few more things on the 465, but what's the point at this time? I really, I'm not going to rush this quad, guys. I'm going to put a lot of, a lot of effort into it. I got a lot of money in this quad. Uh, none of this stuff on it was sponsored, nothing like that. Um, so, uh, the customer quad I have to build is a reverse model 400EX. It's going to 426. I have most of the parts here. Um, got to get that done. And I also, you guys seen that, that blaster that I had in the garage, that, that blaster is actually a customer's blaster. Uh, there's a few problems with it. So what I had done was, instead of buying each part I needed to fix it, I just bought a whole nother blaster. So <clears throat> we're going to make one good one out of the two. Um, I'll do a video on that, and then I get to keep all the extra parts. So pretty much a whole blaster. We had already talked about that. I'm going to put a 400X on one. I think that would be cool. Uh, you know, we'll get to mess around with that. Plus, I want to get a little practice making a hybrid build because I got a big plan for a hybrid build that I want to build. So, you know, that'll be uh, getting our feet wet with that. So that's where that stands. Um, other quads that are here now is the Suzuki, the LT250R. Guys, I love that quad. I ride it all the time. It never fails, does not skip a beat. Love that quad. Just ordered a FMF Fatty for it because it has a stock expansion tank on it. So we're gonna get a little bit more power out of that. So. Uh, Anyway, jump down in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think about this Yamaha Raptor, this 660R ship box thing that I wish I didn't buy. But, you know, I couldn't turn down the price. You know, it was like, it was a steal. And it's got a title, too, so it's worth a couple extra bucks. Uh, tried selling it. Couldn't even give the damn thing away. I wasn't trying to give it away for free, but you know what I'm saying. It's just a figure of speech. Um, in the comment section, guys, when you go down there, feel free to read other subscribers' comments and have a conversation with them. If you guys have varying opinions, don't get nasty or nothing like that. Just, you know, I think it'd be cool. See some of you guys interacting with each other as long uh, as well as with me. I will jump in every single comment as well. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for subscribing. Don't forget to throw me a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.